we as living beings on the surface of the earth are extraordinarily lucky because there's been provided for us not just this this precious surface this biosphere that we've evolved in but also tantalizingly close to us a sister planet the moon there have been stories written about uh, uh, civilizations that grow up in planets that are far away from the nearest other place and those civilizations tend to be very stifled in all of those stories I think they would be the fact that the moon has been there has been visible to our earliest ancestors figures even in our body rhythms uh, I think is very important now when we come to the next phase of the development of space it's going to be critically important we already know from the, the great success of the Apollo project that it's possible for human beings to go over that distance and to return safely even with the within the technological limits of uh, the early latter half of the uh, 20th century but now as we approach the end of the century we see the moon in what I think is properly a much more sophisticated way we see it as a place that we can get to with within just a very few days travel time it's a place that we can get to with a uh, with people and from from where we can bring people back if they get into problems with health or something of that kind we can bring them back to uh, to care here on the surface of the earth uh, it's a place which is so close to us that it only takes radio waves uh, less than three seconds to make the round trip between here and the earth so that teleoperation becomes a very straightforward and viable thing I don't believe that when individual people perhaps starting small companies or building up creative new enterprises begin to do operations on the surface of the moon that they're going to be looking for ways to employ people they're going to be trying wherever possible to find ways of doing it through uh, through observing with television and controlling with radio with the the operators sitting here on the surface of the earth that's the inexpensive way of starting out any sort of indu industrial operation whether it's in nearby space or whether it's on the surface of the moon the moon is a source of minerals which we know about thanks to the Apollo project it's very rich in oxygen that's the most popular element in the surface soils it's rich in silicon it's got lots of aluminum lots of iron titanium magnesium all of the things in fact that we need for many of uh, the products of an industrial civilization we haven't proven yet that it also has organic substances there carbon nitrogen and hydrogen but it may have and some of the most interesting science that could be done on the surface of the moon about the surface of the moon is to find out whether in the lunar craters at the extreme north and south poles craters which have been shadowed for many many millions of years there may be an accretion of carbon and nitrogen and hydrogen ice that never melts because the sun never reaches there we think there is an excellent chance that there are such organics on the surface of the moon some 20 years of scientific theoretical research indicate that there should be and one of the programs which SSI has supported very strongly is the development of a lunar polar probe a special spacecraft which would go into orbit above the poles of the moon totally surveying the lunar surface in the course of every month and looking down into those permanently shadowed craters with special and sophisticated instruments to find out if there's carbon nitrogen hydrogen ice there that would be one of the most exciting scientific discoveries about the planets that we can imagine at the present time and the one I would say with the greatest potential for immediate payback in terms of our development of the inner solar system we know that the surface of the moon is easy to reach we know that it's a place where we're going to have to try out every kind of habitat that we have in mind to locate farther out in the solar system for example on the surface of Mars 
it's, it's a wonderful testing ground for us. It's a wonderful source of materials. And all in all, it's the obvious next place that we have to go. People have spoken of a return to the moon, but I think that's an inappropriate kind of phraseology to use. We, re we really weren't there before. We just came, uh, looked around for a few days at a time, picked up some samples, and ran home again. That's not being there. When we go to the moon this time, it's really going to be for the first time in the sense of the product that we're going to get from it, what we're going to learn from it, and so on. So to me, that's very exciting, not only scientific, but industrial, technical development of the near part of the space program and a critical element in our development of habitats in space.